What's up, everybody? It's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today, we're going to be checking out these Ericsson ratchet straps that have a wind up ability. So, what that means is instead of getting that extra strap out of the way and you know bundling it up, there it doesn't work like that with this one. This one's got the wind up, works like a fishing reel. You just turn this and that runs the strap in there. That way, you don't have any loose strap hanging out behind you when you're driving and you don't have to tie anything down. Let's check it out. I want to show you the wheel. It actually has a pop-out as a lever. That way you can turn it and bring the strap in. But it actually works way better just using the knob, I think. This is not a lot to grab onto, so when you're turning it, it can be a little tedious. I like just using it this way. Let's lo loosen it up and see how it works. Release the tension. Now it can pull through. The strap can go through freely. I can pull way more out of it. Show you. If we were just getting it set up and everything is really loose, you clearly don't want to start ratcheting here because there's going to be too much on the inside. So you can do it this way and start reeling it in. You can kind of see what I'm talking about, like with only this to grab onto. I mean, it still works, but it's easier, I think, just to go like this and get quicker turns out of it. That way we get that loose strap out of there. And about here is where you want to go ahead and pull the latch and then start ratcheting it. Now it's back nice and tight, and that was pretty easy to do. I like that there's not a lot of extra strap because the other ratchet strap you've seen, extra strap just kind of hangs around here. You gotta roll that up, and then it usually has a hook and loop that you gotta wrap around it, but it still kind of looks like a mess. This keeps everything nice and neat on the inside and nice and tight. Another nice thing it has is this cap. It'll go on the end of the hook. What that does is keep this from popping out when it's not tightened down. You can see, I can move it around like this loose, and it stays attached. I can think of a bunch of times that I helped friends move and we had something like this where as you're trying to tighten things down, you're trying to run the hook to different sides of the truck, see what's gonna work. You can be pulling out from the other side so it's doing this and then it just pops out and that can be really annoying when you have loose straps. Maybe more works up and down like this. If it won't grab because it's not tight, you have to get it nice and tight. This will keep this hook in place that way no matter which direction you pull it it's not going to come out so you get it ready and ratchet it down looking at the handle it is rubber coated so you can get a nice grip on it to get those clicks pulled out so that's good it's nice and strong it feels good when i'm tightening it down especially when it gets nice and tight it doesn't feel like it's going to break or anything like that the release is also rubber coated the same deal with that works really well you get your finger under there and I like that it's not just metal that you're putting your finger against. You got that kind of rubber guard on there. So when you do put your finger in between everything there and release it, you don't have to worry about hitting that metal. These come in a kit of one or two. So keep that in mind on whatever you're tying down and ratcheting down in your trailer or your truck. You know, we have two here on the back of the ATV. If we want to tie down the front as well. We got to get another kit. So then we'll have four. If you just want to get three you can get a pack of two and get one on the side just a whatever you need for the back of your vehicle now they do have one inch width here and they're 15 feet all together another thing to consider is weight capacity you got these ratchet straps you think they can just handle anything they do have a limit they have a working load limit of 400 pounds and then they have a brake strength of 1200 pounds so just keep that in mind when you're strapping down your cargo on your trailer in the back of your truck you know they're not super heavy duty straps so just keep that in mind but they will get the job done overall i think they're good straps especially if you don't like the tangled mess that can be left behind by other ratchet straps everything's nice and contained in there that way it doesn't look messy and it's not a hassle to use something i would suggest though is getting the e-trailer carry bag that way you can throw those in there you don't have to leave these in the back of your truck or in your trailer expose the elements you can zip them up in a nice bag and they'll be there. The other good thing is there won't be a tangled mess. I know a bunch of ratchet straps that we have in the shop, they're in the bag, they don't always get wrapped up pro properly. So then they're all wrapped up together and you have to kind of untangle that mess. You're not gonna have that problem with these. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and I hope this helped.